Russia obviously behind protests in Poland. Ukraine. The ongoing protests by Polish farmers against Ukrainian imports have an obvious Russian trace behind them, Kiev's foreign minister Dmitry Kuleba has claimed. Polish activists have been demonstrating at the border with Ukraine for months, blocking shipments of grain and other products. The protesters claim the Ukrainian agricultural sector has an unfair advantage. Kuleba alleged the border crisis is part of a Russian campaign to undermine Western support for Kiev as he and other senior officials discussed Moscow's supposed psychological operations at a forum. In addition to the physical war on our territory, there is an ongoing war for the mind, for the brains of the people. Alexei Danilov, the Secretary of Ukraine's National Security Council, told the audience. The security official cited Ukrainian estimates of engagements with the alleged Russian disinformation campaign on social media, saying that Poland was the second most targeted nation. The Russians conduct it on an industrial scale. Thousands of people are working on that, he claimed. The protests in Poland stem from the EU's decision in 2022 to lift quotas and tariffs on Ukrainian grain in a bid to support Kiev in its fight with Moscow. The inflow destabilized markets in Eastern Europe, promoting several EU members, including Poland, to ban imports. Vasil Varish Ukraine's ambassador to Poland has called on the Polish authorities and police to punish those responsible for the most extensive sabotage of Ukrainian grain shipments yet. Varish stressed that those responsible for such barbaric acts are harming not only Ukraine but also Poland. On the night of the 24th to the 25th of February, the most extensive sabotage of Ukrainian grain since the start of the farmers' protests occurred in Poland, a total of 160 tons of Ukrainian grain in eight railway wagons was spilled by the protesters. Zelensky admitted Ukraine will lose war without U.S. aid, Senate leader. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky warned visiting American legislators that Kiev can only beat Russia with military aid from Washington and is sure to fail without U.S. assistance. U.S. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer has claimed Kiev is currently losing the war. The lawmaker added, speaking after a meeting with Zelensky, Schumer made the case for renewed U.S. aid, which has all but halted amid Republican resistance in Congress. Everyone we saw, from Zelensky on down, made this very point clear. If Ukraine gets the aid, they will win the war and beat Russia. But if they don't get the aid, they will surely lose the war, Schumer told the New York Times. Making his first visit to Ukraine, Schumer was accompanied by a group of Democratic lawmakers who travelled to Lviv to meet with Zelensky and the country's newly appointed commander-in-chief, General Alexander Sirsky. The trip was reportedly organized to allow the senators to determine Ukraine's wartime needs, according to the publication. We think we will be able to bring back very strong, specific evidence as to why Ukraine is, for the first time, losing the war or, you know, retreating in the war. Schumer continued, likely referring to Kiev's recent withdrawal from the key city of Avdiivka, which Russia said was long used as a launch pad for Ukrainian attacks on Donetsk. The Senate leader went on to highlight Kiev's ammunition shortages, vowing to bring the issue back to U.S. lawmakers and press for additional aid. While senators passed a $60 billion military aid package for Kiev earlier this month, Vocal opposition from House Republicans has stalled the legislation. U.S. warns Russia against nuclear-capable anti-satellite weapons. The Biden administration recently issued direct warnings to the Russian government against deploying a nuclear-capable anti-satellite weapon, U.S. officials confirmed to CBS News. The warning was part of a broader diplomatic push that has also involved urging the Indian and Chinese governments, among others, to weigh in directly with Moscow. The talks come after a warning from House Intelligence Committee Chairman Mike Turner, Republican of Ohio, who issued a cryptic statement last week regarding a serious national security threat, propelled the matter to public prominence.
White House National Security Communications Advisor John Kirby later said Turner's concern was related to a space-based anti-satellite capability being developed by Russia, but added the capability had not yet been deployed and did not pose any immediate threat to American citizens. We are not talking about a weapon that can be used to attack human beings or cause physical destruction here on Earth, Kirby said. That said, we've been closely monitoring this Russian activity and we will continue to take it very seriously. CIA Director William Burns recently engaged with Russian spy chief Sergei Narishkin about the matter according to a US official who spoke on condition of anonymity to discuss the sensitive talks.